Hello and happy Friday. It's March, or not March, May 13th, 2022. My name is Serena and I am the Concrete Rose. Um, what am I playing with here? It's uh, my Moonstone. Um, anyway, um, these past couple of days I've been uh, thinking I am sick and tired of this shit. Um, I gotta be done with it. I mean, why am I afraid? Fear. Why? Why am I afraid to do anything to shoot these videos? I mean, I haven't shot a video in, what, five months? I don't even know. I've been down in a hole. Down in a hole. Growing and learning and and just <sighs> healing. Um, using sound healing, sound frequencies for my back. Um, what's wrong with my back? I have spondo, spondylolisthesis. Um, which is vertebrae on top of the other vertebrae and it's moving forward. So I have nerve issues and damage and we'll, we'll get into all that another time. But so I'm real big on sound healing and Reiki and um, I'm going to get into a color therapy and color light therapy and stuff like that. But um, I'll talk about that another time. Um, today, I guess what I want to talk about is, um, yeah, being sick and tired, you know. I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but, um, you know, I have a history of, um, of abuse from a young age. And it, it dawned on me, like, how ridiculous it is that, um, as a child, you know, somebody abuses you and we internalize it. Like, it's my fault, you know? And then we live our whole lives like that from that space. We don't even know. It's it's uh, it's unconscious. It's from our subconscious, you know? Um, Self-sabotaging and, and the bad relationships and, and not feeling that you're good enough. And I'm 52 fucking years old, excuse my French. And really? I mean, let's... Come on, really? Um... I have all these, these gifts and these things and I'm, I'm pushed by spirit and, you know, God to share my story and to do this. And I'm so afraid, afraid of what? I don't know. I mean, it's just fucking absurd and I'm just tired of it. I've had it. I'm fed up. Fuck this shit. You know, I'm just going to shoot fucking videos, whatever, whatever I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm, I'm, I've lived through so much shit and shooting a fucking video is going to be scary trying to make money for myself, which I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but, you know, scary, you know, um, why do I have no self-esteem? I mean, I'm, I'm, let me back up a little bit. Why did I not before I'm um, gaining all that now? Um, I've been going through intense healing. I mean, I, I, one day I was like, I've, I've had enough. All right, God, let's do this thing. I want to heal it, all of it. The shit I don't remember, the shit I do remember, every freaking thing from my life because I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of hurting myself, the people that I love around me because, you know, when you self-sabotage and you hurt yourself, the people in your life suffer too, whether you want it to happen or not. And then we have guilt from that. Guilt because we hurt the people we love and we're really hurting ourselves. And why do I do this to myself? And, and why do I act like this? And, and, you know, why do I keep doing the same mistakes? And why do I keep repeating everything? Can I get off this hamster wheel yet? You know, um, I do my affirmations and I've been doing all this law of attraction and the secret and all, you know, but that's not going to work. I mean, yes, you can, you can say your affirmations right and train your subconscious mind but a spirit showed me through my journey here is um we have to heal our traumas we have to heal those things that are inside the things we don't remember the things but you know our inner child remembers our subconscious remembers our ego won't let us fucking change doesn't want us to fights us the whole time it's quite comical because i talk to mine like i'm two people <laughs> i know everyone's like you're crazy i'm like yeah well you would be too just uh you know be glad i'm i'm a loving spirit because i could have went the other way you know yeah 
If you have to put labels on shit, okay, well, yeah. So, I'm a narcissistic psychopath. Had to be. I never would have survived, you know? Um, from that first trauma, you know, that Serena, she curled up inside, and then this other persona came out that um, is your survival, your, your other... I don't know, you just put this other person up and, and so you live from that and in I don't know, I just know I've lived my whole life I didn't understand what was happening to me um, I mean I just have so many things but the point of today is like Ralph Smart says, fear false evidence appearing real you know, it's, it's fucking absurd and I, I don't know if any of you can relate to this. Um, there's something more I should be doing with my life, you know? Why can't I just get some self-esteem? And what am I here for? And and why do I have these feelings? And, and why do I... Why do I... One minute I'm happy, the next minute I could be crying, and, and, you know, the next minute I'm pissed off, and the next minute, you know, it's like a fucking roller coaster ride. And everyone's like, oh my god, you're bipolar, you know, you're a manic depressant, you're ADHD, you're this and you're that, and I'm like, I know I'm so fucked up, you know, everybody always tells me you're so fucked up, what's wrong with you, all your emotions, and blah, blah, blah. well, not until almost, well, was I 50, almost 50, I was in my late 40s, did I come to realize that, you know, Evidently, I, I pick up on energies. So, that explains a lot in my life. Um, and I was the, I, I don't know if I could say I was the weird kid. I, I guess I just, something, I don't know. I just went inside and I, I, I knew things, with the, um, spirits, and I always knew when somebody was hurt and I, I could feel pain from, I mean, just, I don't know, I guess I, I closed off and I tried to, um, didn't know they were gifts that I had, um, thought it was a fucking curse for a while because I would know things and things would just come to me out of the blue and, and they show me in my mind's eye and I could, I could see these events happening while it's happening and, and, but I can't prove any of it, you know, I can't prove none of it because, you know, people want I didn't do it <laughs> or whatever I don't know I'm just going off on a tangent that's what I do I guess I don't know what to say I don't know how to start this shit I just know I'm supposed to share my story and <sighs> to the world are you fucking kidding me right now because that's some pretty deep shit but you know I knew as a, um, a young girl that things that I was going through which is so ironic and funny because I didn't know what I was going through. I mean, I don't didn't remember my younger years before the age of nine. I mean, come on, at nine years old, I'm like, I know I'm going through these things because I'm here to help women and children. You know, um, I'm gonna see the end of the world as I know it in my lifetime. I knew that young, um, which is odd because I didn't really realize it until. All the things that I had, had thought in my head, you know, going to s Sunday school and stuff like that, I just was like, this is it's not my God. You know, this is, I just, I knew things, I just didn't, couldn't verbalize it, I couldn't ar articulate it, I couldn't, um, I just really didn't know. But with everything that's going on in the world today, um, it's things are coming back to me and, that, and that's how it works because I have so many things that go through my head all the time just blah, blah, blah. and I just you know there's so many things I just discounted a lot and you know I fucking <laughs> I don't know I just don't know what to say all I know is I'm my whole point of this is I'm sick and tired of fucking being afraid of, of there's no reason to be I mean this day I don't know it's just fucking ridiculous and it's ridiculous to me that how somebody from 
their place, they were probably abused themselves or they wouldn't be doing it to other people or whatever their whatever the reason. That part don't really matter um, because what's done is done. Why? Does that matter? 1010. Does that matter? No. Um, I mean, maybe we'll look at that later on, but what the important thing is, as, as children or adults or whatever, how we internalize abuse that we have. Okay, let's say you're sexually abused. I was sexually abused as a child, as an adult, as a teenager, as an adolescent, as a most of my life. I think in the 30s is the last time that happened. But anyway, so from zero to 30, uh, we won't say zero, we'll say from the age of two to three years old to uh, in my 30s, I had been abused by so many people. Um, anyway, my thing is, at what point do, you know, we, it, as children or, or as the, the, I don't want to say victim because I'm not a victim. <laughs> I'm a strong motherfucker. I'm a bad bitch. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And you'll, and you'll see what I'm talking about later on. Um, determination and stubborn and I'm fucking so lucky to be alive, you know. Um, okay, now I'm getting off on something else. All right, so I'm sound like a babbling idiot and give a fuck. I mean, you know, I just, I don't know what to do. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to and I can't believe I'm shooting a video right now. I've wanted to for a long time. I was so into it until the last videos I did. I didn't want to fucking know. I didn't want to look at them. I never watch my videos. I don't edit shit. I'm just raw, off the cuff, what the fuck ever. I mean, I, <clears throat> I plan on having some uh, more organization when it comes to shooting my videos because there's a lot of things I want to cover, a lot of things um, that need to be talked about. Um, I just want to reach as many people and I know, and I know that um, people who need to see me will find me, the ones that are ready, when people that will relate because I know I can feel that there's so many people out there, you, you know, struggling of, I know there's more to life, I know I'm meant to do something, why do I feel so empty and inside you know maybe you've done the same things maybe you know while I'm trying to um, live in the moment I'm you know being mindful and I'm meditating and I'm you know but why is nothing working why am I not manifesting anything why am I not blah, blah, blah. well do you believe you deserve any of it I mean that's the fucking biggest thing is your BS like Ralph Smart says your BS your belief system whether it's been programmed from family and friends, from the powers that be, whatever you want to say, condi social conditioning, um, just fucking going to school period, or, you know, now with the internet and all this shit, and all the, anyway, now I'm getting off tangent, I'm going off the fucking subject again, anyway, babbling idiot, whatever, so, I do ask though, um, be kind, be nice, um, keep your nasty, shitty comments to your fucking self, um, this is my journey, and all of our journeys are different, and there's not a cookie cutter way to do fucking anything, and, um, you're not gonna tell me I'm not spiritual because I cuss, I smoke weed, yeah, weed, ooh, wow, oh, such a bad thing, and, you know, I probably could stop one day, I'm not, right now, that's what I do. Have I smoked today yet? No. I've actually been listening to my, I wake up in the morning and I listen to my Rife Frequencies. Uh, and then I listen to this other lady, Lucy, and I can't remember her last name, Herzog, or, or I, don't, I don't remember. Anyway, she has, um, she has frequent, you know, uh, frequencies out there too, um, with boosters and, you know, for whatever, changing eye color. But I'm, I'm working on my spine and my teeth smoked him up, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so, back to this whole internalizing things when we're hurt, so, and, and trying to manifest things, and if, if any of you are like I was in, in all the years, because I've been working on myself for 
fun years. <laughs> Probably longer than some of you guys that will run across me have been alive. Anyway, and that's fine. And I don't, I mean, I'm 52 and I, I, I mean, I hear that. It's like, what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? 52, 52. See, I feel like I'm ageless. I don't look at age. Um, I just look at things differently. I, I just know that I try to, uh, program my mind because um, I don't have to be like everybody else you know grow old are you fucking kidding me I mean um, do we not have bodies that um, heal itself do we not have bodies that heal themselves do we not get new skin do we not get new I mean, everything we grow is new they say what every seven years pretty much new so if, if that happens then okay well, all right I'm going to stop right there. That's a whole nother thing. I just, and I do apologize for <laughs> this video, like, bleh, like 10,000 other places all over the place. Let me try to stay focused. And you know, I need to do this and I need to just fucking put it out there and just post it because this helps me because I don't even like my picture taken. And I've been in bed for two days. I haven't even brushed my hair. No, you know, I just, you know, got up a little while ago, laying there. I actually stopped my listening to my frequencies to do that. I still have fucking oil in my hair from coconut oil. But back to why do I feel the way I do? Why can't I have self-esteem? You know, why, why, why do I keep making all these same mistakes? I mean, I can, I, I can feel it from some of you. You know, you're like, yeah, that's me. Why? You know, I've done it all. I keep doing my affirmations every morning. I do my mirror work. I do my this. I do my that. I write my affirmations down. I post them everywhere, and I'm doing this, but nothing's changing in my life. Well, <clears throat> do you believe what you're saying? Do you believe your affirmations? Do you really believe it? I mean, you have to sit back and ask yourself honestly. And if you don't, if you can actually be honest with your 1717 and be honest with yourself and say hey no I guess I really I guess I don't I never really thought of it that way before um, do I believe it say you have some dis-ease in your body like I do you know um, with my back um, do I really want to be healed I mean, do you really want to be healed why aren't you healed yet you know um, because if you have chronic pain or chronic issues in your life that you've had for most of your life or super long time or whatever um, you know who would I be if I wasn't with this back problem you know who would I be if I God, if I didn't have pain you know we, we'd say I just wish it wasn't like this you know why does my life have to be like this well what do you think about what's your stinking thinking what do you focus on? Your pain? What do you focus on? The things you don't like? You focus on your, your partner always being this way? Oh, he's always like this. And then you talk to your friends. He's like this. You talk to your friends. He, she's like this. Da, da, da. Or my pain's so bad today. I do this. I do this. I do this. I mean, I've, I've come far enough where I don't, I don't have a problem. I know the things that I F up on and, and things that I don't do right. And I just... I can admit it and I can laugh at myself now before I was super hypercritical and, and judgmental on myself which meant I was hypercritical and judgmental on other people and I always viewed myself not uh, priding myself in not being that way but if I'm doing that to myself I'm like that with other people you know um the whole point of, of Serena the Concrete Rose my whole the reason for my YouTube channel or whatever the hell it is I don't even know how to do this stuff that's why I just fucking shoot and post. I just don't know how to do any of that. And I'm, I'm not here for putting up pretty things and being beautiful and doing all this and doing all that. And fuck that. This is real life. There's real life shit going on. And I'm not going to get into all of that right now. My whole thing is, my point is, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done with being afraid. I'm fucking done with being small. I'm fucking done of dunning, dumbing myself down to fit in around people. Fuck that. Motherfuckers, if you ain't for me, you're against me. That makes you my enemy. Go the fuck away.
cut people out. I've been by myself for a long time. I've been stuck in bed. I'm a very active person. You have no idea. I'm a very active person and, and very humbling to be flat on your back, not able to really fucking do anything. Um, and it's hard. And going, <laughs> it's fucking hard. And guess what? I'm a trooper, you know. That was at 2020 when I said that I'm a trooper. Um, I'm supposed to have back surgery. So they say, I say, a quote from Dr. Joe Dispenza, the power that made the body can heal the body. I'm walking in fucking A. For a long time, I was flat on my back. I couldn't even eat or do anything. I'm 100 pounds. I feel disgusting. I've lost... You know, then I go back to, here I am, I'm healing, I'm getting self-esteem, I'm feeling great, I got confidence, blam. You're 100 pounds, skinny fucking bitch. And I'm like, I just don't like to be thin. But see, I've been thin my whole life and people have teased me and da-da-da. And it's like, oh, yeah, let's be 100 pounds. Oh, so you need to gain weight. You know what? Shut your fucking mouth right now. You know why? Because you be flat on your fucking back where you can't eat and you're sick and you can't fucking do anything and you feel your 21, 20 body deteriorating. Like you're dying. I felt like I was dying from being eaten from the inside out. I mean, I just felt horrible. And I'm not one, I have a high metabolism, I'm not one to gain weight real fast. It's just a fucking meat suit. This isn't who I am and I keep falling back into the image thing. You got a big boob or, you know, a butt or, you know, you got to be a certain way and your hair and your face and your head. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That is not what life is about. Well, not for me. It is for some people and hey, I appreciate you and I love you in your journey and where you're at. All I ask is that you respect anyone that comes on, watches my channel, or posts any, any comments or anything, that everyone be kind. Be kind to one another, okay? And don't judge somebody where they're at, you know? You're not in their shoes. We're all here on our own journey, 2222, doing our own thing, and just trying to fucking get better and heal ourselves, those who want to. Um... Now, healing oneself is one takes a lot of work, and it's very hard, and, 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 and it's so rewarding. So any of you that are, you feel lost, and there might be some of you that um, have never, don't know much about spirituality and, and, and anything like that. Um, ego, con subconscious, conscious, super conscious, you know, Christ consciousness, um, dimensions and ascension and there might be people out here who really don't know anything about that and and, and if, if I don't know I just so this is my first coming out again video I'm back hopefully um I got a lot of shit going on and I guess my whole point of today is anyone that resonates with my gibberish, <laughs> my fucking jumping from subject to subject, but I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get it together soon, but hey, this is it, this is me, I cuss, I cuss, I have a really dark warped sense of humor too, so I'll say some funny shit, I'm sure sometimes, and you might not get it, some of you will, some of you won't, hey, it's whatever, um, I'm just here to share my story, and help you guys and, and show you things that I've learned and what I've done along the way and, and what I, I continue to do because I'm always going to be learning and growing, always going to be healing till I leave this meat suit. Um, life doesn't have to fucking be miserable because we're all connected, we're all loved, we're all divine and we don't need to go out and find anything from anywhere. Everything we need is already in us. It's already in us. We just have to let it out. And when you can heal your past traumas and all your things, and you can love yourself and then in turn love others and feel good, I just want to help everyone be happy and feel good and love themselves. It's time. It's time. The time is now. We're running out of time. We're in tribulation times. That's a whole other subject. 
it's it. This is it. Come on. Heal with me. Heal. Be happy. Come home to yourself. It's time for us to come home to ourselves, to who we are. Connect with our divine that's in us. We're all made perfect. We're all made how we're supposed to be. We're in this meat suit that you're in. There's a purpose. There's a reason. There's a reason why you, you go through the things you do. It's, if you're ready, hang out with me. You know? Fuck. I'll be shooting videos, and I'll tell you my story, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm a caring and loving person, but I'm also the opposite of that. And I've done some fucked up shit in my life. I've been a fucked up person. I've been a fucked up mom. I've been a, a fucked up individual. And um, through all that, I have love and I have compassion for people. And, I, and you're welcome. And you're welcome, by the way, that I'm bothering to do all this work because uh, the work I'm doing for myself helps everybody. And as long as I stay on the light side and not say, you know what, fuck these motherfuckers, you know? You motherfuckers want to hurt me, put me down, try to keep me small, talk shit, make me feel bad about myself, do fucked up shit, spell work, trying to kill you can. <laughs> Don't you know who I am, motherfuckers? Try it. All I can say is try it. All I'm going to do is live my life, do what God tells me to do, regardless of anything else, and um, we'll see what fucking happens. Am I here to ask you for money? No, I'm not. And, you know, I don't give a fuck about money. I know I need it because right now I, I can't work. Um, <clears throat> I won't find out. I won't get my denial from uh, Social Security. Wait a minute, let me change that. I will not find out my determination for Social Security disability until seven months from the time I apply. So, meanwhile, I am collecting food stamps or whatever you call it, on getting food stamps. And um, I didn't even want to do that, but how am I going to feed myself? I mean, my, my ex-husband, God bless him, is letting me live in his home, you know? Um, I've got bills, not many. i got my stuff in storage in Colorado I've been trying to get back to for a year. Shit keeps stopping me. Shit keeps stopping me. But that's okay. Because there's things I had to learn. I had to be stuck in certain places. And I had to have my heart ripped out. And I had to fucking be on the verge of suicide. And I had to fucking go through these things. Because that's maybe who I am today. And I fucking love it. Okay? I just love it. Um, I'm no mechanic by any means. But I am going to... I need to fix my pilot some more. Um, I think I have a video out there. I did a little compilation of... I've done a lot of work on my pilot right now. i got to drop the subframe. Uh, you have to do the steering gearbox um, mounting bushings and bolts. What a pain in the dick. Because you just... Yeah. Because i got to drop it. i got to take care of all this shit apart. Tie rod ends. And, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a process, right? It's just a process. And um, with my back the way it is... I'll get her done. I mean, I did the time, did all that other shit. I'll get her done. I'll get her done. She's 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 a good girl, man. She's she wants to live. I want to live, mom. Okay, let's do it. Anyway, so the purpose, my intention for my channel is to to help people in any way that I can to help to help heal, to do whatever. It's just, it's to spread love, um, information, and um, connect people, connect us all. Um, I just keep hearing, okay, so I better say it. Um, this is for those of you who have the feeling of, you know, you feel lost, you feel empty, like you should be doing something different. I should be doing something with my life. I feel like I should be doing something bigger. You know, something, I have a purpose. You know, and you just don't, you don't know what it is. Maybe you have no clue. You just have this feeling inside. You've been going through these changes and things are becoming different, you know. You, 
and you don't understand and, and it's kind of scary and you can't talk to your friends or family about it because they're they're on their own journey and doing their own thing well you know you came to the right place 303 I keep saying numbers because uh, synchronicities and numbers for me are huge numbers uh, feathers coins um, I pay attention to the signs and sometimes I totally flat out say yeah sign I see you but I'm gonna ignore you today see ya um anyway we're already at 30 minutes so I've just been babbling a bunch of bullshit um anyway my name is Serena and I am the concrete rose I'm the rose the delicate beautiful little flower that grew through concrete there was no crack I didn't come up through a crack I broke through that fucking shit and then when they came and had to fix the crack that I made from coming through it, you know, I went into hibernation. They covered me up and I was back down in that hole again. No sunlight, no light. But guess what? One more time. One more time. I grew right through that fucking concrete again. And I'm still growing. And they'll cover me up and I'll come back again. Because I can't be stopped and I won't be. I won't be. And, um, anyway. I love you even though I don't know you. Even the shitty shit you do, I still love you. And when you can't love yourself, I love you. I love you. I'll love you through it. I'm going to love me through it. Through my shit. Um... Some of you are um, just coming into gifts. And you might not know what that is. Or what's happening to you. Well, just stick around. We'll help you with that. Me and my other personalities, that's the way you know. <laughs> However, I do... Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that right now. But I just wanted to... Uh, Say, I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I'm done. So I'm going to just do shit afraid. I like do shit afraid anyway. You know, I'm, I'm tired of being small. I'm tired of... There's no reason for me to have feelings and shit that I do just because somebody abused me. And I internalized it. And I lived my whole life from, oh, scared and something's wrong with me. And I'm just not worthy. And I'm not da-da-da. Not that I was consciously walking around saying that. That was an unconscious thing. So because we live most of our lives, you know, 95% or more, and we walk around from our subconscious mind, so we're reacting to triggers, and we're not even realizing it. So, uh, colors, sounds, something somebody says, um, triggers us, triggers something in our subconscious mind, because, you know, we're walking around just da 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 da, -da on autopilot, Going around in the same circle, 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 running on that hamster wheel, can't get off. Oh, I see it. Oh, nope, better stay on here. Not ready yet. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all, and um, there's going to be somebody that might have a question or whatever, and um, like I said, please be kind. I will fucking get rid of you if you want to be a dick. Because this is channel is for people who really want to change their lives and they want to step into their purpose and they just want to fucking be a better person. They just want to be happy. They don't want to feel like that anymore. I'm tired of feeling like this and doing this. Well, let's fucking help each other get better. And fuck this shit so we can step into our power. As women, but I mean in, in general, men, women, whatever, but um, it, time is now. What do you have to lose? Everything to gain and nothing to lose. See, I'm talking to myself too. Um, when I speak to others, I'm speaking to myself as well. I'm not going to tell you anything. I will share things that I've done or, or everything's going to be from my perspective, my, my perception. Well, why not? It's, it's all I got, you know? So 
Um, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I never have, and I'm not in competition with anyone, and I don't feel like, I mean, I've fought through a lot of things. I just, on myself, God said, be you. I said, are you sure nobody really likes me? He said, yeah, be you. Raw, authentic, just be you, be your personality, you know? And I'm like, well, God, okay. I don't know if they're ready for that because um, I'm pretty <clears throat> blunt, straightforward. I tell it like it is. I'm sorry. I don't, I've never want to hurt anyone's feelings, but if I see bullshit, I'm going to call bullshit. You know? So, have a very fabulous Friday. And, um, stay tuned. I don't know when I'll be shooting videos. Like I said, I might get some, I'd like to have some organization so you know what you're getting, you know when I'm coming on, you know what we're going to be talking about. Um, and there'll probably be videos where I'll just go, hey, blah, 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 blah. probably most of the time, but I don't know, shit. There's no rhyme or reason. Anytime I make a plan for something, it never works out. So I can tell you this is my plan. My plan is to have a schedule, talk about different things, different healing modalities, um, things I went through, uh, shit like that. Um, spirituality. Mm, I don't want to get into religion. But, uh, you know, hey, I'm just here. Share my fucking story and maybe something that I say will reach someone and it'll help it. It'll spark something. If not now, maybe later on. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just here because I can't let all these things that I've lived and gone through in my life in vain. There's a reason why I'm here at this time. And I live the things that I lived to help teach other people. Um, it's only me and my children. My mom and my brother are both gone. And, uh, hey, it's the way it is. I chose this path. That's what I believe. That's my belief, so don't... I'm not here to argue. I will not argue with anyone about my beliefs in what I think and what I live. I won't do that because it's ridiculous. Because it's my fucking life. And your life is your life. And <laughs> not anyone's going to be the same. Mm -mm. Nothing. Okay? What I do doesn't mean it's going to work for you. What you do doesn't mean it's going to work for me. But in your own way, you know what I mean? So, anyway, here I go on a tangent again. I mean, fuck. I'd be surprised if anyone watches me. <laughs> I really would. I'm not here for anything else, you know? I just, hey, this is my life. I'm trying to get to fucking Colorado to get my shit. You know, my stuff is there, everything I own. I'm trying to get to California still to drive up the coast. Is all that going to happen? Fuck, I don't know. At this point, who knows? Oh, yeah, I like my cup. Introvert. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get back to my healing. Have a great fucking day. I am Serena Rose. The Concrete Rose. So, again, Spirit, anything? Anything? Got anything to say? Drink water. Ground yourself. What is grounding? For those of you who don't know, what is grounding? Grounding. Grounding connects us to Gaia, Mother Earth. Um, and it helps us stay grounded, right? Um, planted, so you're not... <sighs> so take off your shoes. Walk in the dirt. Hug a tree. Sit by a tree. Or whatever, you know? Um, there's different stones and crystals you could use. There's, there's all kinds of... There's all, ki there's all kinds of things, honey. And let me tell you what. There's nothing that you can't do. Whatever you believe, whatever you speak out of your mouth, whatever you think will be your reality at some point in your life, good, whatever you want to label, good or bad, doesn't matter, it will be, that is the law, energy, what you put out, you get back, could be right away, could be later on, but it will, so watch yourself talk, 
how you speak to yourself, how you speak to others, what you think. Well, okay, now we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. But anyway, I love you guys. And um, this is going to be a great fucking journey. And uh, it has been fucking <laughs> great. So I'm sitting out. And I'm going to set my intentions right now. So let me look. Healed. Thank you. I am so happy and grateful now that I am healed. I am so happy and grateful that I'm on the road, traveling, fishing, going to the lakes and oceans and rivers and living life. And I'm helping people along the way. And thank you, God. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm living my life purpose. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm healthy, that I'm strong, that I grow younger every day. Every day I get better. I'm so happy and grateful for all my loving relationships. I'm so happy and grateful for my subscribers and my not subscribers, people that just go, ah, fuck this bitch, and click off. I love you too. I love you too. I send you love. But anyway, so be kind, be nice to anyone. If um, you want to ask me something, fucking shoot. Hey, I'm going to tell you this right off the get-go. I'm going to do my best since I'm doing videos again. Um, work on it. Do my best to stay up on it. For, you know, comments and stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it's not my forte. I don't like social media very much um, I know it's it's good and it could be used for good and it's essential or whatever but uh, not essential what the fuck are you saying anyway if you have questions or whatever you want to reach out and talk to me um, yes I am a, I don't know a guide I don't want to say teacher really um, I have lots of um, experience and knowledge in a lot of things and a lot of different things and uh hey I'm a student teacher of myself and um I've been working on myself my whole life extensively um the past god I mean down to the real nitty gritty you know the the let's heal it all shit <sighs> Wait till I tell you about that some fucking rough shit. No, I'll, I'll probably get out my journals because I haven't read my journals and I, um, I do what's called automatic writing. Here we go. I've been trying to get off here forever. Here it is, 45 minutes. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to stop because I'll just ramble on forever. I love you guys. Peace and hair grease. TTFN, which is ta-ta for now. Oh, nope. That's it. I'm done. Um, hmm. Have a quality day. Get outside and get barefoot. Get near some water. Breathe in the beautiful air. Go look outside. Look at the beautiful sun in your surroundings and just go, so good to be alive. <laughs> you know? It's wonderful. I love you. You're doing great. Keep it up. You're not crazy. The shit that's happening to you is happening to you. Oh, hold on. So I have, um, what is it, daily guidance from your angels or something like that from Doreen Virtue. I'm just going to, all right, so your card today, folks, and I'm not going to be able to, don't laugh at me, I'm not going to be able to read this in the fucking dark. Oh, oh I want to say this says um, life purpose. I got to get a flashlight. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay, here we go. Can you see that? Oh shit. Oh shit. Life purpose. Wasn't I just talking about that? Well, maybe I didn't say the words life purpose, but I was speaking about, do you feel like there's something else you should be doing in your life? The angels are telling me that too. There's your daily message. Life purpose. So it says, the purpose of your life is to serve 
in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. And then your purpose will serve you. Alright, you guys. That's your daily message. Motherfucker. God, that looks like shit. I'm using my Chromebook to, to film. One day, maybe I'll get a camera and all that, but... I ain't got no fucking money. I gotta worry about paying my shit. <laughs> as long as I just... Fuck, get it out of here. Anyway, life purpose, right? What do you want to do? Write things down. Ask yourself questions. Serena's out. Have a great day. I'm going to get back to my healing, and I'm going to start working on some other shit, and um, I don't know. Maybe I'll see you later today, or uh, who knows, but I'll see you when I see you, and um, i got to learn about this description shit. I, I don't really know how to do all this stuff, so... Bear with me. It's a learning process and you'll be on it with me. I love you all. Have a great day. And uh, stay cool. I don't know about you, but it's hotter than friggin' Hades here in the Midwest. Bye, you guys. Have a blessed day. <laughs>